this is Necro from the Roughnecks. And this is going to be a review on the X Cortec uh, Shooting Chrono X3200. I picked this up um, mainly for a uh, chrono for the team and just to know how much uh, my rifles are shooting and my pistols and all that in case uh, we ever go to those pay to play fields and stuff like that. I just want to know what I'm shooting at, what different weight of BBs and FPS and stuff like that. So I picked this up at uh, Evike for uh, $99 and um, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool so far. Alright, let's get to it. It comes in this box. Uh, nothing real fancy. I actually have it set up on my tripod right now. So bear with the camera because, yeah, it's, I'm not I'm using the tripod for that. This uh, Chrono couldn't use my other tripod. It's too heavy for it. So it does come with this little manual right here. Um, pretty much tells you how to change the weight of the BB that you're shooting, your rate per second, rate per minute, all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, you know, just skim through it real quick, but it's pretty much straightforward. Um, so yeah, it comes with that. And I'll uh, put that. And here is the actual chrono. Again, it doesn't come with the stand. This is what I use for my videos, but I'm using it for this. You see, you can, you can have a little screw right there. You can add any tripod you want. So that was pretty cool. So it does not come with batteries. It uses uh, AAAs, four of them. So you had to go buy some yourself. Uh, not a big deal, but whatever. Would have been nice if they had it. Um, this thing is like made out of plastic. It's real. It's, it's really, really, really light. Uh, this little part comes off. You can take it off. Um, but um, this feels really light. So I suggest you never drop it. Because I don't know if it will break or not. But it's real light, so I'm guessing it doesn't take much to break it. And all right, so let's get to it. To turn it on, you got your you got your power button, your up and down button. Pretty much three buttons, which makes it pretty easy to use. So what you're gonna do? Just turn it on. You have. Let's see if I can get it. Flip camera sucks, but whatever. All right, right now it's set on a. Uh, Oh, you can't even read it. This camera sucks. If you guys want to buy me a new one, I'll take donations. But um, anyways, it's set to 20.25 gram BBs. So I'll be using .20s on my gas blowbacks just because I don't want to feel like getting a battery and using my rifle inside my room. So to pretty much change it, all you have to do is press down. See if I'd be able to zoom in, be better. Oh, that doesn't really help. Sorry, guys. It looks shitty, but bear with me. Bear with me. So to change, you have your shot memory, your auto power off, your bullet, backlight, and unit. To change your bullet, all you gotta do is like bullet and press the power button, and you have your options. It comes preset from, it has six presets right now. It goes from 0 0.20s, 0 0.25, 0 0.43, 0 0.45, 0 0.50, 360. You can easily change them. Say we want to select the 0 0.20 since that what I'm, that's what I'm going to be using to test fire. You select that, press power. and it's set to it and you can change the weight of the BB just by going by pressing the power button and the caliber so say you want to change like from using point two O's to point two threes which isn't in the preset all you gotta do is just press up to go up on the higher BB gram or lower and then just to select to enter it in just push the power and you're pretty much set to go back, all you gotta do is go to the exit, all, it's usually all the way in the bottom, and press power. Let's say you want the backlight off or auto, just go select, push power. It's pretty simple, guys. It means pretty dummy proof. And say you want to just leave like that, I already set it to 0.20s, I want the backlight on, you have a reset all the way at the bottom, but you don't need that. 
to get back to the little main menu, all you gotta do is go all the way up and then press up again. And here you have your rates per minute, your rates per minute, your FPS, and up top in the corner you got six meter middle six millimeter point two gram BBs. So I'll be using um, these GNG uh, two point oh BBs. They're pretty good. Um, I usually use point two five so in pretty much any weapon I use, get them pistols and rifles. So I'll be using this uh, 226 by KJW and this 1911 by KJW. So uh, let me just. I'm gonna be shooting that that little uh, sleeping bag I have wrapped in plastic. I was gonna use it to go um, camping out in the valley, and I wrapped it in plastic so it wouldn't get wet from crossing the river. So pretty much. Let me check. It's, I don't want to hit the TV or anything like that because that would suck. Alright, so here you go. You have a preset to 0 0.20s and you have your pistol or your rifle or anything like that. And let's see what happens. Three, two, nine. Three, fourteen. And 308. So that's pretty cool. Pretty good FPS for a blowback pistol. Let me cut this back. And we'll go to the 1911. 313. 381. 175. I didn't load up the 1911 as much. But yeah. As you can see, pretty accurate. I mean, it took, it saw how slow that last one was. And uh, yeah, I recommend it if you guys are looking for a chrono, if you're on a team or something like that, or you just want to chrono uh, your weapons by yourself. Just something cool to have, I guess. Um, so yeah, this has been Necro from the Roughnecks, and I'll see you guys later.